Recently, I noticed an interesting phenomenon involving water. Upon being struck with static discharges, the surface appeared to act more like a barrier than a conductor, causing the sparks at the surface to branch out. Hey, Jay here. Welcome back to Plasma Channel. Now, these fractals are so beautiful and so perplexing, and they're actually pretty hard to create. So today I'm going to talk about the science behind them and how I managed to create them myself. When I first noticed this, I really didn't understand why the fractals were appearing. Natural water is conductive, so shouldn't all the current from the static strike go straight in the water? Why the fractals? And these fractals are hard to film, but eventually you can get to a point where they're predictable and reproducible. It takes some experimentation. But as you can see, these are extremely visual, extremely beautiful, but why the fractals? Why the branching pattern? So let's talk about that. After a bit of research, the answer was actually a lot more clear than I thought. Okay, let's use lightning as a model to talk about. Basically, lightning prefers to travel more on the surface of the water rather than penetrating it. And that's because water is a good conductor, not because it's a bad conductor. You see, good conductors keep the majority of the current on the surface, just like a Faraday cage. So basically, the lightning ends up traveling on the surface of the water in a natural fractal pattern. And what exactly that pattern looks like is dependent on a couple of factors, such as the salinity and the temperature of the water, and also the local topography. Is the water glass smooth or is it choppy and wavy? This exact same science applies to our static discharges as well, which is why you're seeing those fractal patterns over the green water. Now, I want to be transparent with how I did this, so here's my setup. My voltage multiplier is sitting on top of a glass insulator. Then over to the left, you'll see a grounded wire attached to a grounding plate that's underneath of a plexiglass enclosure. This plexiglass is full of half an inch of water, which is electrically connected to the voltage multiplier. In the end, it gets charged up to about 100,000 volts and arcs over the edge of the plexiglass down to ground. This setup I found was best to create reproducible and predictable fractal sparks. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media, and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.